All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way through the steps and stop at eight. We're gonna have a little bit more of a progression. Talking about position number seven, I shared what position number eight should look like, okay? It's the pass through from six to eight that really matters. We're not gonna try stopping at seven, all right? So here's how you do position eight from the top, all right? So take that saber again, light side, not the heavy side. Position one, two, three, four, five, okay, so from here we're gonna go back to four and then go all the way to eight. Eight, got it, and hold. One, two, three, four, All right, feel five, go back, eight. Got it? Okay, so eight is where the saber is back basically opposite number two or six. So two is here, six is kind of on top of the toes a little bit more, eight all the way through to here. Right? You can tell from there, hand action goes from six to eight, and you can hear that saber snap. If you're not snapping that saber through there, you're turning your body too much, you're not creating the quickness that's necessary to create all that speed. So position number eight, Again, very well um, moved into that position, accelerated into that position. It becomes more of an awareness. And frankly, if you're gonna hit a punch shot, you might end up stopping more often than not right there in position number eight. So there you go. Hold it for 10 seconds. Pump five, right, position five. So <clears throat> we'll go through it again. One, two, three, four, pump five, go back, eight. All right, there you have it, position number eight.